We love hip hop. Keeps it solid. I want to get into something with Keeps It Solid. Salute to the homie Keeps It Solid. That's my brother right there, okay? Don't ever, 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 ever. If Keeps It Solid don't trust you, I'm not going to shoot you, but I'm going to be very angry. <laughs> okay? But salute to Keeps It Solid. That's my freaking, freaking brother. Da, 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 da. All right? I seen something here on these Reddit streets. Oh my God! Why they do that to my guy? Disrespect. Yo, you see, this is why I don't like going on Reddit. Sometimes you guys are friggin' toxic, bro. Why they call the man wide back Hoyo? Hoyo hit blogger. Disrespect. Keeps it solid, shows off his ankle monitor after absorbing multiple stray bullets and getting caught with a... First of all, who's this Reddit um, po uh, poster here? Nearby mis underscore mistake underscore 5906. You're rude. You're bright. Leave my friend alone. Don't diss the man. Okay. Secondly, he posted this in his stories. Um, and salute to Keep Six Solid once again. He posted this in his stories. I guess he was feeling away. And he was just like, yo, man, this is what I'm dealing with right now. I, and I, I'm, I feel for the brother right now. For the people who are not completely in tune with what's going on, there was a case that happened a while back. Maybe I have it on my channel somewhere. It was Keep Six Solid and about three other Toronto bloggers that um, got raided. Okay. The, uh, let me go look it up. One second. Toronto bloggers. We'll do that. Um, okay, yeah, here we go. Let me uh, pull this up here so y'all can see what I'm looking at. Because, excuse me, there was four blog pages that got busted. It was Keep Six Solid, Real Toronto, wasn't it Real Toronto News, if I'm not mistaken? If I'm mistaken, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Straight Out the Six, War in the Six. Keep six solid and correct me on the last one. Okay. Dusty Wagwan Yoi. Big salute to Dusty Wallace in the uh in the chat right there. So. Let me pull this up here. Th Toronto police rod um raid rod. Raid Toronto bloggers. What's good, y'all? Welcome back. This is new show. I got to do more news page and shit the Toronto blogs. Now, it's been a little while now. At first, when we first started noticing. Jeez, Manscaped commercials. all this YouTube shit channel, um, Gutsy Guts on YouTube. is Monday, November 15th, 2021, and it's from 43 Division. Okay. Now, it says the Toronto Police Service would like to make public the public aware of the results of Project VWAP. So that's VWA Project VWAP. Jesus Christ. Key. An investigation into high-profile Instagram accounts from the Toronto area that post that posted recordings of online video conference uh, conference court proceedings. Okay, now I'll read a little bit further here. It is alleged that on February 23rd, 2021, the Instagram accounts The Hood Six and, it was the, Hood Six. and the War in the Six posted images of witnesses who had been testifying during a preliminary hearing being held via remote video conference. Um, and there's other ones here. I'll read this here. On February 24th, 2021, the Instagram account straight out the six and Warren the six, the hood, and, um, the hood six and keep six solid posted an audio recording 
of the same witness from the same remote video hearing. The action served to obstruct the course of the justice and intimidate the justice system participant. On those dates, there were an order to, in effect, by Justice David Potter restricting the publication of evidence heard in the hearing. Also in that case there, there was a... Um, I guess, allegations of different people yelling out during the court case saying, yo, um, you're a rat. Shut up, bitch. Shit like that. <laughs> Ignorant shit. Okay. So that happened. And because that happened and the posts were actually also posted on the blog pages, they started a sting and, a, and they ended up doing a raid on these four blogs, um, blog pages. The Hood 6, let me read this again. Yeah, The Hood 6, The War in the 6, um, Straight Out the 6, and Keep 6 Solid. A lot of sixes, okay? Now, what ended up happening with Keep 6 Solid, for him to get uh, um, the ankle monitor, is when they raided his house... They allegedly, let me put a legend on that, they allegedly found a firearm. So with that being said, he had to fight a bigger case than the whole shit with the blogs. Get me? Y'all following me now? Now, here's the, the, the kicker. Because Keep Six Solid, he's always been putting together, and I feel like I'm repeating a story, but a lot of people might have not tuned in to that a while back. Keep Six Solid was doing something really dope called the Solid 16s. And we'll pull some of those up because those are legendary. Okay, let's pull up some of these. Let's do a quick search. Keep Six Solid. Solid 16s. Pow. Mm. My favorite one is the Bushman one. This is from two years ago. 644,000 views. Let's go. Change the past. Mine on my money. I might manifest a hundred racks. Mine on a milli. But a billy, I want more than that. Woo. The lethal weapon, more allegations to defend, and I got several pending. Sick and tired of court days, feel like it's never ending. All right, so he's done mul a multitude of these, okay, these solid 16s. And like if you can see here, when I do the search here, Boulevard Biz, The Crook, Roni, Casper, Cam, FB, he's just bare freestyles what's the casper one Three hundred nine thousand. this is a good look when he does these now and it used to be a hundred want to give me 50 now i should dig you in a ditch make your mother dig you up and i said i'm hot as fuck can somebody hear me now right these go crazy so i mentioned this because this is where he ended up catching more of an issue he was doing a solid 16s recording a while back, this is a few years ago now when I think about it, probably more than a year ago now. And what the mistake he was making at the time was he was booking multiple people at the same time to do these sessions. Okay? He had like three rappers, people sitting in the waiting room, rappers running into each other, that type shit, which is just a no-no. As somebody who interviews multiple rappers, whether it's in a week or in a month, I never book multiple people in the same day. That's just a no-no. Dark side, what up? Um, this, the Casper one does go crazy. <sighs> so he ended up booking a bunch of people at the same time, and some rappers met up with each other that weren't supposed to be meeting up with each other, and boom, boom, bang, bang, they ended up getting into a shootout. There's multiple rappers that were there that I'm not going to mention here on camera because I would like they would love to keep their anonymity when it comes to this. However, yeah, there was multiple people on the scenes. Mad shots were fired from what I remember. And Keep Six ended up getting hit. He caught a leg us, if I'm not mistaken, like a leg shot for the people who don't know what a leg us is. And 
from there, he's been kind of messed up, right? Obviously, he's recovered, okay? He's not, like, handicapped, but it just was not cool. That's why they're saying here, after absorbing multiple stray bullets, trying to be cute over here in the Reddit, okay? Jesus. So, you know, for him to post this and just, like, show people what his current condition is right now, he's giving people some insight, man. Like, Keeps It Solid is... Keeps it solid as a staple in the city. I don't know if you all know. I don't even think it's low key. It's high key. When people are mentioning um, Toronto blogs that they got something off of, they, like, they're like, yo, I saw this on these Toronto blogs. Okay. And I'm not just talking about anybody. Okay. I'm talking about like academics, Andrew Schultz. Enough people reference Keep Six Solid as a place where they seen things that are going on over here in the scene. I know some people, if they go up on this page, they're like, yo, that's Team Drake over there. <laughs> right? Keeps it, keeps it compromised. <laughs> <laughs> However, I feel him. He's riding for the home team no matter what. I'm objective Rick, so I'm going to, you know, if something's wrong, I'm going to say it's wrong. But that nigga, he don't care. He's like, yo, it's Drake or nothing. Right? So big salute to, to keep six solid. All right. Like hold your head, brother. Like when it, when they say when people are inside, um, they can't keep you, they can't keep you forever. He ain't murk nobody. Okay. As far as when it comes to this whole ankle monitor bullshit, <sighs> man's made a few mistakes. They were wilding out a little bit too much when it came to the court thing, but that's light. You know what I'm saying? But <sighs> The burner, that's where that's where everything gets twisted. You get, you know, you allegedly get caught with a burner, shit can get get really mucky. However, for the fact that he's on an ankle bracelet and not detained, having to like deal with his time inside, that's a W. All right. So big salute to keep six solid. Um we love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.